the Ocala real estate market. Tell us all about this, Chris. So this thing is hot right now and everyone's thinking right now, yeah, it's hot everywhere. It is. However, um, Ocala was picking up before the market itself picked up. And with what we're seeing, we're expecting this year an 8% increase from last year, um, which is huge because not only we, we've talked about how this is one of the cheapest places to live in Florida. We've talked about how this is centrally located to everything in Florida. So you got two very big selling points in the pipeline right there. But because of the World Equestrian Center, because of the development of the, of the county itself, even if COVID starts to drive the numbers down a little bit, because we got a large influx of people coming from other states because of COVID, even after that dies out, we're still gonna see residual influx of, of new people coming in because of, of what we have here. So the economy here, we're expecting it to do super well um you know even in the even in the next couple years to come because everyone's talking about a big real estate crash hmm. don't feel like it's going to happen everything that we're looking at it's, it's probably going to slow down a little bit but in this area nah we're thinking prices are going to stay um you know especially for sellers prices are going to stay at a, at a rate that or they're going to stay at a price point that they like mm -hmm. um you know and then because there's a, there's a big incentive for people to get houses here, you know, rates rates have been super low for buyers, you know, so it kind of works out for everybody. So we're expecting quite the thriving real estate industry here in uh, in Ocala. So, you know, whether you're buying or selling, it's it's hard to lose out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. The the market is uh it's ripe like in in your particular area because of as like we're experiencing in the video right now, all the open space, beautiful skies sunny weather it's, it's absolutely awesome here and it, it's funny because i noticed that whenever i go through neighborhoods now uh, so i'm constantly showing houses and going out and picking up listings i i noticed that you'll have like a house on the corner that'll go up for sale and then by the time you come back there next week every single one of their neighbors has their house up for sale so it's it's interesting you know and because it's such a such a good place to come and relax especially after you know after after you've put in all these years of work it's a great place to retire mm -hmm. you see a lot of people who are downsizing their homes going to some of these retirement communities like the villages the live oak or on top of the world even though people are moving they're choosing to remain here hmm. you know it's uh it's it's amazing yeah yeah what about new construction in the ocala area New construction, that is actually a booming thing right now. Um, I try to direct people away from it, and it's not because any personal thing mm -hmm. for me. Uh, they pay me the same whether you build or whether you buy, mm -hmm. but it's a lot tougher right now to get a construction loan because of A, the availability of people to build the house, uh, oh. B, the availability of supplies, and then C, the cost of those supplies. Um, you know, we, we all know that with increased demand comes um, the increased price, yeah. you know, especially yeah. if they don't have the supply to back it up. So you're seeing right now, a lot of these lumber prices are starting to come up to closely resemble what concrete looks like. And so some of these people are choosing to go with concrete style homes, really? which isn't a big deal, but whether you're doing wood or whether you're doing concrete, doesn't matter what style of construction you're going for. Some of these builders are either not taking customers, they're booked out a year, or you got places like uh, like Dell Webstone Creek here in Ocala that they have parcels of land for sale, all these different parcels of land within their community. And to reduce the amount of demand because they can't meet everybody's uh they can't meet everybody's expectations because there's only so many people and they're only so big they're actually auctioning off the land to the highest bidder and then they can build on there once they get it new construction if you really want it you're willing to pay the price heck yeah i'd be happy to assist someone on it it's just i tend to push the people in the direction of either the spec homes that are being built um or or a resale 
uh, just because uh, you're going to get that much more bang for your buck, in my opinion. Yeah, that's really interesting. Like, uh, so new construction like it's it's doable, but it it's more a lengthy of a process. So it sounds like. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I had a house that was built in my neighborhood. They just finished construction on it like two weeks ago. So they, they've been building on it for the last couple of months. It went up super fast. But whenever you do a construction loan, it's not like a regular mortgage where the bank, boom, they give you two hundred twenty thousand dollars to pay this. You know, to pay for this house. Now you're in debt to the bank. It's not just one fell swoop like that. They do it in draws. Hmm. And whenever they got to the very last draw, where they they pull out, you know. X percent of the money needed for the house uh, to buy the materials, create you know the uh, the the final touches of the house. That's that's where Lumberhead shot up. So when they did that that final draw, and they went to go pull out the costs, uh, you know for for the lumber and all that, that prices had gone way up. So that last draw, they really got raked over the coals on. Huh? They they uh, yeah they they got hit with the uh, with the uh, the price increase. Hmm. You know, each each draw is going to cost a different amount in that last one because the prices had recently soared. Right, the the shortages that we're experiencing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, really interesting. Okay, I guess like in terms of like the market, like um, what are some popular areas for? Um, since we're kind of talking about new construction, uh, does it matter like where in particular? you're building a new construction or are there any areas in particular in the Ocala area that are better than others? Yeah, I, I feel like there's something for everybody. So some people want a quiet residential area that's not close to a lot of shopping, not close to a lot of traffic. So I'd say either the Shores or Marion Oaks for that or Majestic Oaks, something like that. Uh, or Danellen. Some people want something a little bit more lively and closer to town. So I would say, you know, central Ocala is where it's at for that kind of thing, you know? So, but there's new construction going up everywhere. I, I even see houses being, uh, um, being torn down and put back up in the, uh, in the historic district. Um, you know, just, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's cool watching so many large projects going on at one time. You know, because it's we, we have road construction here from time to time. But the biggest thing that you see is is like houses being built. And, uh, you know, it's it's just neat. It's neat watching the whole market work as a uh, as a joint functioning unit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's there's a little bit of something for everybody, you know. So if, if it's a retirement community, they have new construction out there. If you're wanting something quiet residential, you got it. If you want some of the heart of the city, new construction happening there too. So it's all in what you want. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned some people are opting for concrete style buildings instead of lumber. Yeah, instead of lumber with uh, with the increase in uh, lumber costs. It's not far off from where the price of building a concrete house would be. Yeah. So these people, they're just opting for the stronger building material because it costs about the same anyways. So. Right, right. That's super interesting. Crazy. And I know in, <laughs> your, in Europe, that they, they build more uh, concrete style buildings, and um, which is super, that's really interesting. Um, yeah. That's like um, something worth exploring to like look into, yeah. Uh, oh, absolutely. Super cool. Um, you have to show us one of these days, like uh, one, one of the builds like that is um, all concrete or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to go to one of the one of the sites and yeah. walk you through what it looks like when a new house is being built, because not everybody gets to experience that, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to that. And thanks for the Ocala real estate market update. Yeah, yeah. Cool. What's up guys, Chris the Ocala Realtor here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the next one and don't forget to subscribe.